Hey GH peeps, what's happening? It's your girl, Toweri Babes, coming at you with the late night review for Thursday. That's right folks, it is Thursday, June 20th, 2024. How y'all folks doing today? Huh? I hope you guys had a good Thursday. I cannot complain, I had a pretty good one too. A busy one, but a good one. How was GH GH and Friel? Any highs? Any lows? Mm, let's get into it. So, Sam, really, Sam, really, Sam, you mad at Jason when you just put Spinelli in a compromising position and this man is the help, a, a big help for his family? You just put Spinelli, Dante, and yourself. In a compromising position, and you mad as you you mad at Jason. Time I I was the one who had to hear my baby crying because he thought his daddy was dead. Really, girl? So you don't think your son will be crying because you getting bumped up in charges for the FBI? You don't you, you don't think Dante's children will be crying if he gets caught up into your mess with the FBI? You don't think Georgie, James, and baby Lulu gonna miss their dad? Stepdad Spinelli because he got caught up in SB, but no, 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 it's all about you, Sam. All about you. <laughs> and when Carly came up to Jason talking about you're running for office, it's gonna be so much attention for you. Aren't you worried? Girl, take it back 15 steps. If you that right there kind of got me, I was like, you know, Jason wouldn't care about that, you know, you wouldn't care about that. You know Jason wouldn't care about that, girl. He ain't never cared about what nobody doing in their own life. He Actually, he's happy he's doing something. He thinks he'd be good. And Maxie setting Nina straight and telling her that she is dirty as hell from manipulating Willow. Still. Mm, I really like that. Ooh, ooh. And the Portia, the Finn, and the hospital... Guys, I Googled and Googled and Googled and Googled. I could not find anywhere where it says that an employer can checkity check you for drinking when you're at home. As long as you ain't coming to work drunk, as long as you not doing drunk stuff like are drinking right before you get there, I couldn't find it. Now y'all let me know if y'all did. Because I, I know my people, I know my peeps, y'all y'all research it. I researched it. Couldn't find it. Now, I know I'm not saying that Google is the Bible, but I couldn't find it. I even looked up a person that has addictions versus, you know, uh, drinking. And it just said that the company cannot infringe on a person's, they cannot judge a person for their past problems. You can't bring that up. That's, that's illegal. Um, I could be wrong. Y'all let me know what y'all find out. But, um, yeah, they was out of pocket. <laughs> As far as what Google's saying, you ain't supposed to be doing that. But anyway, please leave your highlights and your comments in the comment section. You guys know I love your highlights and your comments. And thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for trusting me. Um, I, hope I, I hope and pray I get to earn your subscription. Thank you to every single person that takes that time to subscribe and hit that button. But guys, let's get into it because GH, honey, I'm just one. I'm starting to see why Patrick might not be there anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at Elizabeth like Corte, like mm, girl, you better change this. You better something gonna happen. Out. Are you gonna say that? Are you gonna really be able to say the head writer with this? I, I know they said that her and Patrick's stuff is still going. Is this what y'all got to deliver? I don't think she was head. Yeah, she was head writer with him. Like I said, I I, I see why he ain't around. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just see why he ain't around no more. But let's get into it, peeps. Let's get into it. So the show starts off at Corinthos Coffee with uh, Carly telling Jason about Drew running for office. And I'm like, why? Why? Why, why, why are you telling him this? How, how does this affect Jason? Hell, he wants to know the same question. Because she thinks 
that it's because of her that they are distant. And I'm like, okay, GH, come on with the games. Now, we all know that Aunt Carly ain't got nothing to do with Drew and Jason being distant from each other. They've always been distant from each other. Shall we go back in time when J Jason came back and Drew was living his life and Jason wasn't too happy with Bro Bro then? And I think the only time they've actually worked together is when they did that treehouse. So for Carly to sit there and be, put it because of her, I was like, boo, have several seats, have several seats, have several seats, and find something to do, please, girl. And I wrote, girl, Jason is cool. And he hopes this, because she tells him about her and Drew breaking up. He's like, oh, okay, well, I hope the same for y'all. I hope y'all good. Meanwhile, he doing him. <laughs> Jason don't care about no Drew running for no Congress. He'll be great, Jason's words. And she's like, that's, that's it? I mean, there's no big blowout? No big all about me time? Carly, please. It ain't always about you, boo. And Jason's like, yeah, why would I care? And she's like, it's because, you know, the public eye is going to be all on the quarter main business. And they're going to talk about AJ and, you know, why you were gone for two years and you working for Sonny and wah, 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 woo, woo, woo. And I wrote, okay, firstly, firstly, Drew can do whatever the hell he wants to. And Carly, once again, please have several seats, boo. I mean, like, did they have nothing else to write for you to do in this scene? Because th this song, you made no sense. Because it's almost like you don't know Jason. Like, you, she should already know that Jason wouldn't care anything about this at all. Jason don't care about the family, uh, about the family mess. He's been dealing with the family mess. He he didn't care about it then. He don't care about it now. He cool with it. So Drew, so she's like, so Drew gets to live his life while you're in a dusty warehouse? <laughs> I wrote, okay guys, it has been a very long time since Jason put his foot down when it came to Carly and just told her to mind the business that pays her. And I miss those days. I really do. I really, really, really do. Don't y'all miss those days when he would when he was dating Sonny's sister and he was like in his pre-beginning relationship with Sam and he told her to have several seats, several seats that this is his life and he's going to live his life the way he wants and if she wants to be friendship with him then she's going to have to sit down and chill. I miss that. I miss that. I miss that. And he's like, don't you want Drew to be happy? No, she don't. It's all about her and her feelings. She ain't even really asking Jason what he wants. And if she did, would she even listen? She brings up that he lost two years of his life. And I died laughing inside. Because I was looking at her like, girl, he lost those two years behind you. Now, I ain't saying that it was all on you. Because you were in a terrible situation. The, 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 the peeps were coming after you him they wanted y'all to unalive each other you carly really had no choice but at the same time he was gone because of you honey <laughs> i'm gonna go back to that and hopefully i remember too because i that's a nice little juicy tidbit but anyway we're gonna meanwhile it over to general hospital and terry's back yeah woo -woo. And wants to grab coffee with Liz so they can discuss the breakup, the grief situation, and Finn getting help. And of course, the always everybody mentioning, what about poor Violet? Well, right now, currently Violet's at the pool hanging out with her friends, doing the most and living it up, honey. And guys, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. No, I don't like the, the drinking. I'm going to keep it real. I'm a, I'm a child. I'm a, I, I grew up in a, with a parent of alcoholism. I don't see this big effect and crisis that they all saying that Violet is going through. I mean, it's like everybody's making this so big about Violet, but has anybody asked Violet, how you doing honey? You okay? Everything going okay at home? No one's asked Violet that at all. Not Chase, not Brooklyn, and not Liz. Whoa. <laughs> Just can't do that no more. 
we're gonna go over to Finn's because we're gonna talk about what we just talked about and that's Violet is getting ready for a pool day with Maxie dad has packed up all her boxes got every you know packed up her little her little swim bit bag got her going and Violet don't want to leave her daddy alone she you know she knows her daddy's hurting but he convinces her that daddy's gonna be okay and that daddy has to go to work and she's like well I can go with you and he's like oh honey daddy has to go to work so Violet leaves and heads off when Georgie comes and gets her and the guys we had to witness Finn pulling out the, the tequila and the cup looking at it looking at the cup looking at his hospital badge and what does Finn do he puts the liquor up puts the cup up and decides to go to work now speaking from a child that was raised in a house with an alcoholic that wouldn't happen she would have definitely poured her that drink because when you're an alcoholic that day can't start off without that drink now I ain't saying that Finn ain't walking on that door but Patrick if this is what you were trying to do to bring my good man Finn down and I guess I should thank him for making me like Finn I've always liked Michael Easton he is a phenomenal actor even with the that annoys the crap out of me but I just hate how they broke my man down. I hate what they're doing to him. I hated this whole entire scene. I hated everything about it. And if something bad happens to Finn, I might. I'm not going to say it. But anyway, he doesn't drink and he leaves to go to the hospital. Meanwhile, at Maxie's, Mac and Felicia catch up romantic style on the couch while Bailey Lou is sleeping. Mac got to hang out with Frisco. They discussed Frisco's feelings about leaving his family and thanked Mac for looking out for his family. Which is swell because Frisco did kind of just step, you know, to go do his own thing. I do miss Frisco and the Felicia and the Mac and all their stories out. They were fun. But there's a knock on the door and it's Anna and Robert and they discuss Jagger. And Mac looks forward to seeing him and Anna's like, mm, he ain't the sweet person he used to be. <laughs> That's when Anna gets the text. So we're going to jump back up to Jason. Because she heading over to the Corinthos Coffee Warehouse. And, and Jason's telling her, I can't do, we can't do this. This this needs to happen now. My bro's about to go for Congress. All the business is going to come out. If Kate's here, if Kate's finds out and all my, all my dirty laundry is aired out, then he's going to go full nuts on Carly. And I'm not letting Carly go to jail for this. And Anna's like, no. We're going to bust. I'm going to bust Valentine. Don't you worry. I'll believe it when I see it. I believe it when I see it. I ain't got much faith in Anna. And I hate that Jason has to put his trust in her. And this is another thing that I don't like about this story. It's because old school, Sonny would have been, Jason and Sonny would have figured out about some medications by now. They would have got him back on track. They would have probably pretended like Sonny was still off his meds while him and Jason secretly worked to take down Brennan, Pikeman, and Valentin. Because Anna can't do this on her on her own. And I and I don't and Jason and her working together, I just I don't see any I just I really wish Sonny and Jason were working together on this. Backing Anna because Anna's gonna need a lot of support. I don't see Anna being able to do this. Y'all let me know, but I don't have a lot of hope in that at all okay where are we at ah sam and spinelli they meet at his secret computer place we're going to call it that sam is all of suddenly afraid of getting caught really you're afraid now even when spinelli warned you of that before this before this but Spinelli's found something and unfortunately he can't erase it like they had hoped but they but he still has ac access to it and they both find out that Jason did this for Carly Spin says well dang this makes all sense Jason doing this for somebody he cares about Sam's like what that's SOB he left his kids he had us all thinking he was dead She's mad because he chose Carly. And she's jealous. 
Spinelli tries to speak up for him and reminds him this is Jason. And she's like, no, Jason abandoned his kids. Meanwhile, she's looking up FBI, FBI information illegally that could get her butt and Spinelli's butt in jail. You not seeing that? You not seeing that? So she's she's afraid now, but he already did the doc. He already did the job. She's not seeing that. She's not seeing that she put a father that's that's helping a family out, his family, putting him at risk. That she's putting herself at risk. That she's compromising Dante. She don't see that. That she could possibly get Jason in even more heat than he already is. She don't see that because it's all about her. Sam wants a copy, and I just called her a hypocrite. I, I mean, like, they're trying to make it about her protecting her children, but at the same time, she has been risking it all. And this ain't the first time she risked it all, guys. You remember I talked about yesterday when she helped out Cody and Sasha? She could have gotten caught. She could have got her and Dante caught up in that. Her and Dante, that is that is helping a fugitive, and that is a crime. She didn't do the FBI thing. She's a total hypocrite. And guess who's going to read her for filth if Spinelli gets caught up into this? Maxie, and I can't wait for it. You already know Maxie's going to read her for filth about this if Spinelli gets caught into it. And let's bring up this major point. Carly Yow didn't have no choice in this she had no freaking choice in this they were going to unalive her or they were going to unalive jason they were coming after her family and when Sp and sam was like she chose this life girl you was talking with outside of your neck you don't even know what's really going on and this is what i hate this is what i don't like about this new sam because normally news old school scan sam will look some stuff up well there's got to be something behind this i mean I mean, wasn't they threatening Carly and threatening Jason? Doesn't she remember that? That they were after them? That they were going to take them out? That this was a dangerous situation? Oh, but Carly chose that. Ch Carly, Carly chose that. Yeah, Carly had no choice in the matter. She's so mad because it ain't her. Because she ain't the one. Sorry, boo, you gave up that position. P.S. Okay, guys, I don't mean to be petty, but those lips looked as ridiculous as Kelly's belly. I mean, Christina's belly, okay? I don't know why they couldn't put the same plumper into Christina's belly to make her look really pregnant. That's all I'm going to say. Every time I look at Sam, sometimes when she gets her lips done, it's like, I can't stop looking at, it's just too much. It's too much. Nobody needs, you don't need them lips that big, girl. Stop with the plumper, please. I'm not trying to judge, guys. I'll be like, you're trade shaming Sam. But y'all know that shit's distracting. I can't take her serious with the face. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave her alone now. I'm disappointed in you, Sam. I'm disappointed, girl. Moving along, we're gonna go over to GH Hospital. Ooh-wee! I need to have another water, a cup of water for this one. Give me one second. Mmm. So when Finn gets to work, he sees Liz and he tells her to check her, check him. He's sober and she can check if she wants. He tells her that she doesn't have to do anything for him anymore. They work together and that's it. She tells him, she says, well, I love you and we're a family. And he says, yeah, you're the auntie. <laughs> and that's it. So Finn goes to take care of his, his patients. That's when Portia corners him and tells him that him and Terry would like to have a few words with him before he starts rounds. He gives Liz that look like, you sorry SOB. <laughs> and they go to discuss his responsibilities at General Hospital and his patients. They have cleared his client list and they want to discuss his drinking. And like I said, guys, and I'm going to read what I wrote. So I looked everywhere on Google and could not find any president, presidents for your employer telling you you cannot drink at home. I also looked and they said that they cannot use your prior drug history as a reason to come after you. Unless you are showing and coming to work drunk. And we all know he did. So this conversation should be interesting. 
but it uh, it doesn't take long to, for Finn to realize that Liz was spilling the beans. And he's like, so y'all taking the word of my ex? Is that what's going on? And he says he's not denying anything. It mentions that he knows that both of them drink also. I was like, because <laughs> they do. Tells him that he will submit to a blood test if you think I'm drunk. Portia tries to bring up his narcotic addiction and he reminds her that she's that she she reminds her that she's not accusing him of narcotics. She says that him her and Terry cannot risk him treating patients while he's under the influence. Which he's not. Finn's not under the influence at all. They want him to attend AA AA meetings. I was like, oh my god. I mean, yes, he, he needs AA meetings, but that's not how we do things. That's that's not how you do things. That is not, you don't corner a person in that situation. So Portia and Terry handled it so unprofessionally and wrong. Unprofessionally and wrong. And I'm only saying that because... Google says, and Trey, like, Trey, Google ain't the first. Uh, guys, I kept looking. I looked at Quora. I looked at Reddit. I was digging. I took time. That's why I'm posting so late. Because I, I was like, let me, I seen the show. I was like, let me find out about this. Because this, this can you really do this? I couldn't find anything. Y'all, please, if y'all if y'all can find something, please post it in, in the comment section. Because I want to know. And I'm pretty sure I ain't the only one. Finn brings up that that is an infringement on his rights. And I, from what I read, technically, it is. Which it is because they have no statement other than, they have no proof other than, this, than Liz's statement. Which, come on guys, I don't mean to hate on Liz, but this is the same person not too long ago that was hallucinating. And he could have brought all that up. Sleepwalking, walking around with knives all kind of dangerous stuff and chose to go back to work after spending what a night in the psych hospital that's when they start to threaten the man's license and I'm like wow welcome back to work Lit Finn after losing your dad and all that other stuff welcome back to work and I'm just going to say this I am so freaking pissed at General Hospital right now this is how we do things we tear down the only real dad other than Spinelli on the show really and then, like, um, GH, I think it was GH, uh, GH uh, Sunday Ship that said, they are, GH has an issue with writing a story but not really giving the feedback to the why we should be, why should we should be worried, why, but they just push the narrative without really giving any kind of foundation for it. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that they're just writing, they didn't have to destroy Finn's character for this. And this, this, they didn't have to do this. And how they're doing it is just, I, I'm just really disgusted, guys. And I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real with y'all right now. If Finn, y'all seen the previews of Finn, something, I, I didn't get to see it all, but he falls down and he collapses. I know it wasn't because of the liquor. If this man ODs and he dies, and un unalives himself, I'm going to be pissed and I'm going to have to take some time off. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to take some time off. Because I really get tired of them doing this character assassination to get ratings, to get whatever. So now Violet got to come home and see her daddy like that. Didn't we just have enough? We, they can't write a story without having child trauma. They can't. They can't. And I'm really, I'm just not, I'm not feeling this direction. I'm not liking this direction. I don't want to lose you guys as subscribers. I really don't. But I might have to take a couple of, about a couple of weeks, days. I don't know off because this is pissing me off. It's really pissing me off. If y'all, if y'all can feel, if y'all can feel my anxiety with this whole entire situation, it's triggering me. It's pissing me off. It's not good writing. There's no foundation for none of this. They didn't even give chance. They didn't give Finn a chance for nothing. They just slammed him down. And everybody around him did. The only person that really gave him a lifeline was Alexis. And if he ODs on that floor and he loses his life, 
GH gonna have to say goodbye to me for a little bit because I can't. I, I cannot deal with that foolishness. They need to get this writing together. They need to get it together quick. They're not showcasing Trina a lot. They were supposed to be trying to fall in love with Gio and Trina. I don't see that happening at all. I don't see the Kim. That's just me. The writing, Sonny's on his medication thing too long. They're not tying this up quick in a good way. Jason and this whole entire trusting Anna is just completely BS. I mean, let's just talk about history. Somebody said, Tori, do you know history? I know right now that Jason wouldn't be trusting Anna. Or the cops for that matter. But here we are. We got Trina calling Curtis daddy and Taggart disappeared. I just... I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of getting fed up. I'm just going to keep it real with, with you peeps. I really am getting fed up. I just, I'm, I'm getting fed up. Really, I am. All these open-ended stories, we still don't even know who killed Austin. And who bought Spoon Island? They just let that go too, right? Just let that go. I, I don't, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch Finn. I don't want to watch Finn Odin. I don't want to watch Violet walking in and seeing her dad. I'm going to tell you right now, I won't be posting on that one. I just won't. I, I will be too upset. I'm just going to keep it real with you peeps. If I see that tomorrow, I'm not posting on it. I'm just not. I apologize to you right now, but I'm not posting on that. Because I feel like GH is, is crapping on us. They're not giving us foundation. They're just throwing out baseless stuff with no kind of foundation, with no kind of real build up, nothing. And how did he get the thing to OD anyway? I, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Sorry, peeps. I don't want to turn this into a... Rah, rah, rah. Moving along, Finn lets them know that they're smearing his reputation and warns them. He reminds them that he was the one who saved the hospital and that he is the reason that both of them have jobs today. <laughs> and that's how they want to repay him. He says, you know what? With tears in his eyes... I quit. I quit. Bye. Ask Liz, confronts Liz and asks her, is she happy? Because she got her revenge that she wanted. I quit. She admits that she did it to get back him back to the person that she loves. He tells her to stay away from him and Violet. You can't see her, call her nothing. But I, I, I'm her guardian. You ain't no longer. And I'm like, didn't they get that legalized? Because if they got that legalized, it's going to take a lot more than just your word, Finn. Finn leaves, and Portia tells Liz, Liz that she, Elizabeth that she did the right, the right thing. And I have to say this. Portia, did Liz do the right thing when she got out of the psych bed and went right back to work like nothing was, like nothing was wrong? This whole girl was hallucinating, walking around with knives, threatening, doing some really crazy behaviors and went right back to work after fences i don't think you should do this i think you, you need to take some time no no i'm fine and all of a sudden she was fine she was having whole entire hallucinations portia was she right back there was no saving grace for finn gotcha just gonna put that out there not blaming for elizabeth because this is elizabeth's kind of thing this is what she does right but portia co-signing that kind of irritated me and they keep mentioning Violet. But that girl is out there happy at the pool and about to be broken hearted coming to see her dad pass on the ground. I'm telling you guys, I'm not right. I'm not, I'm not posting on that. I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not, I'm not posting for that. I'm not posting that. Because GH is crapping on, on me. I'm, a fucker. <laughs> I'm not going to say y'all because y'all might be like, oh, I'm okay with it, Tori, but I'm not. I'm not. I can watch bad writing. Y'all know. I've been posting and y'all been like, girl, I just fast forwarded. So thank you for talking about it. I can normally post through the bad writing, but this is too much for me. Just way too much. But anyway, Finn's at home. And what does he do? He grabs a bottle, takes a drink, and another. Now I'm going to watch previews again because, but it looked like to me that his arm was like this and he was like that and he just fell. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. And I'm so, glad, I'm so glad Patrick's gone. If this is what he's writing, goodbye. And if Elizabeth signed on to that, I, I want her to go too. Because this is horrible. We're going to go over to the Metro Court pool. Trina is visiting the pool to soak up some sun. And Joss and Gio discuss Trina being fragile. And then Joss says, well, that was a poor choice of words. Agreed. 
She ain't fragile. She's hurting. She tells him about Spencer dying because she's like, um, I know you irritated Trina the last time. And I was like, okay, hold up. Oh, th this is more bad writing. But let let's just clarify this. Gio did nothing wrong in the first place. So this conversation they had and all of this other stuff was so out of pocket. And I am glad that she actually apologized because she sounded like she just trying to control the narrative and Gio did nothing wrong. What, for looking like, for reminding her of Spencer? He, that's what he did wrong? For making her think of her ex-boyfriend? I mean, her past, her, <laughs> I'm sorry that I remind you of him. Let me hide my face. Just supposed to build up him and Trina into some love story. How are we supposed to fall in love with this? I just need, I just need these writers to do better. It's, this is so upsetting. It's so upsetting. And like I said before, I just don't see Gio and Trina's connection. I don't. Y'all let me know what y'all feeling. It. Some people have said I watched. I watched a lot of the other like the soap dirt, nerd, soap dirt. That's what I was talking about. Soap dirt because Belinda was talking about how. Um, She was taken up for Sam and, and how Carly was not in the wrong. And I'm like, Belinda, did you not watch the same show we watched? That's what I was talking about earlier, guys, with Soap Dirt. Because I, I watch, I catch Soap Dirt sometimes because they be having some nice spoilers. But sometimes I'd be like, Belinda, you so far off. Wait. And, I have, and if you catch the comments, a lot of them were agreeing with my sentiment. But I'm going to get off of that. So, um, oh, yeah. And Dex in that police outfit. Oh, my gosh. Please take it away. Please take it away. I'm sorry. It ain't flattering. It don't look good. And I know some people are like, oh, he got a nice butt. I, that that police cut, that outfit is not doing Dex no justice whatsoever. And I am just so not interested in the Dex copy thing and all that other stuff. I'm not, that's just not, that's not, ooh, for me. It's just not interesting. Sorry. Pull side to another to a very interesting conversation, Maxie and Nina catch up. She tells her about Willow's B Day party and how she just like showed up trying to discuss business. But Maxie ain't falling for that manipulation. At least she ain't. Willow Willow show is once again. Can y'all write Willow with the backbone? Cause this is ridiculous. She had more backbone when she was a teacher confronting Nina about her um, about Charlotte than she does right now. What happened to that Willow? What happened to her? Nina brings up her and Drew's uh Maxie brings up her and uh, Maxie brings up that they're manipulating uh Maxie brings up that Drew that Drew and Nina are basically manipulating uh Willow. Maxie also reminds Nina that she wasn't being honest with Willow about why she was there, how she got there and all that. And I was so glad we have Maxie to keep it real with Nina because I remember back in the day that was Brit. Ooh, I miss me some Brit. I love me some Brit and Jason, baby. That was gonna be my oh my next love couple right there. I hate they they wrote her off and then unalived her because Brit was used to keep it real with Nina. I know, and she and she was and she could hold her own. She could hold her own. I love me some Brit. But Maxie also lets her know that by manipulating Willow, she could be making things worse. Hello. Yes. That's definitely true. And she says that that's not what, th she says, and Nina's like, well, that's not what's happening now. She says that's not what's happening now. Oh, yeah. And Nina says that's not what's happening now. And I agree with Maxie. That is definitely what's happening now. Nina thinks that Drew has her side, her back, and brings up Willow, Willow's disgusting hero worship of him. Guys, it's so disgusting. <laughs> I can't. I told y'all before, whoever writes for Willow has daddy issues. Y'all can come after me on that one all y'all want. Whoever is writing for Willow has severe daddy issues, okay? <laughs> Maxie tells Nina she needs to be careful because Willow's opinion could change if she finds out about the affair. I'm like, maybe not, but her, but her feelings will definitely change 
once she finds out that Nina and Drew are manipulating her by playing like they're playing this game, lying, acting like they're friendly, and no, Nina sound like the only thing. I don't even know what. I don't know what they doing. I, I don't know what they doing. I, I don't even know what's going on. I think they falling for each other. I think maybe Nina's falling for for Drew. I don't know if Drew's falling for her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. In story, Sam wants to play the audio for Carly. Unfortunately for Sam, I don't think she's gonna get what she wants out of this at all. I don't think Sam is going to get none of what she wants at, for this at all. Because we all know what Carly going to do. Carly going to run over there to Jagger, try to set him up and play some stupid game, get caught. Jagger going to find out that she knows about the Jason situation. He's going to front her about it, Jason telling her. She's going to be like, no, yeah, some little birdie told, her, told me. Jagger's going to pull... Pull, pull up the information he's going to see the same detail the same fr the same cookies browser stuff that uh that 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 spinelli at the last time he was in the uh, the, um, the system follow that lead to spinelli put two and two together and spinelli spinelli is going to go down and i don't see spinelli dragging sam down with him so what you think maxi gonna think about that so is Sam really going to get what she wants? And if he is able to, oh, he might. Because then all he has to do is look at the, look at the, um, look at the, um, the Metro Court surveillance thing. And he'll see that while Spinelli was doing his thing, Sam was doing her thing. Guess what that's going to lead to? Dante. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to have Sp Sam, Dante, and Spinelli caught up in the frame. Along with Jason. Good luck, Sam. Good luck. Because you always know what to do. I am wrapping this one up, guys. Because I'm... There were some good scenes. I really love the Maxi. I love Maxi setting Nina straight. And it was nice seeing um, um, Robert and Mac and Anna and Felicia. Them all hanging out. The, the, old school, the old school gang. It was nice seeing all the old school gang. But like I said, if tomorrow's show shows uh, Finn ODing, I'm, I'm not going to do a show for that. And if it doesn't happen till Monday, I ain't doing a show for that. I, I, I refuse. That I, I, I can't do it. And I won't do it. And I apologize to you guys right now. And I hope I don't lose any subscribers. I really hope you guys understand. There are some things that I just can't talk about. And some things I just don't want to sit there and be like, ooh, so did y'all see that? That, no. I really feel like GH is letting us down majorly. And I really hope they change and fix things soon. But if you guys like what's going on, I, I'm not going to sit there and hate on you. Everybody has the right to have their own feelings about the show. And you know that's how I feel. I've always felt that way. But if that happens tomorrow, I'm not posting it. I'm not posting it. I'm just going to keep it real with you peeps. But anywho, thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, I'm sorry that this show wasn't my normal. But guys, I just, there's some, I, I was excited about some things. <laughs> but you guys have an amazing night and an even better tomorrow. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. But like I said, if that Finn stuff happens or Monday or tomorrow, I'm not posting on that. Much love and respect. Hopefully, I will talk to you guys this weekend because I got some Heather receipts. Yeah, I've been digging. Talk to you guys soon.